Hi guys, I was asked if my hard surface boolean techniques I use in my fast carve add-on also work with modifiers like array or mirror. So here's a video in which I demonstrate this. I start with this simple mesh in Blender 2.79 and immediately add a solidify modifier to add some thickness to the mesh. Then I apply the modifier and add a cube at the center. I scale the cube down by pressing the S key and I will enable my screencast keys add-on so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. Now I bring this cube to a shape that I want to use to cut into the object. I just scale it like that. Then I apply the scale because I scaled it in object mode. And after that I select these four edges and add a bevel to the mesh by pressing Ctrl and B, then scroll the mouse wheel to add some segments, and this is the shape that I was going for. Ok, and now it's time to add an array modifier, because I want to have three or four of these objects in a row. I have to use a negative X value, Increase the offset a bit more. Ok, that's fine, but I don't cut into the object now, because I want to show you that we can add a mirror modifier as well and do boolean operations after that. But before I do this, I set the origin of the object to the center by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift and C and then select Origin to 3D Cursor, which is located at the center. Ok, now I go ahead and add a mirror modifier, first for the x-axis, here's the result, but I also check the y-axis to be able to cut into the other side of the mesh as well. Alright, and then I can press the difference button of my fast carve add-on to cut into the object. Great, now let's get rid of the rounded cubes, we don't need them anymore. And to make it look a bit more interesting, I cut with a new cube into the center of the mesh. Ok, looks nice, and now I'm going to add a cube again, scale it down and add two bevels for the edges at the top. And one more time I will add an array modifier for this object. But this time I will union this with the target object and press the button union of the fast carve add-on. Ok, now we can go ahead and add some nice bevels and sharp edges, improve and extend your model as you like. So guys, I hope this answers the question if you can combine these modifiers with fast carve boolean and if you like the video and my channel then don't forget to like and subscribe. Currently I'm implementing some new features for this add-on and I will come up with a video when these are completed. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and see you soon here on JNM.